You took admission into your degree with high hopes. You were told at the time of admission that you will get placements. But when the placement day, the D day came, all you got is no placements, rejections, or probably um, non biotech sector, non core companies. So you are now in dilemma, you are upset, and you feel cheated, and you feel that your college has betrayed you. I can completely relate to this problem. In my college also, we saw similar things and this is nothing new. But over 17 years, I have realized that we can actually not just solve this problem, but we can come out victorious out of this situation. Now, first things first, please don't feel embarrassed that you did not get placement or somebody else got or maybe less companies came. So don't, stop, don't start underestimating your field or the people who are there in this field. It's not like that. The reason you did not get placement is two ways. The first is your college probably did not try enough. The placement officer did not try enough and they must. In fact, I very less, I get very less requests from placement officers for recruitment. I would love to do campus recruitments, but very less camp, uh, placement officers reach out to me. Now, why is that? Probably because they don't put in enough efforts. You have to know that the placement officer in your college is also an employee of the college, right? So unless you guys come together as class of say 50 or 100, whatever is your class strength, you reach out, give it in writing to your HOD or professor or principal that there are biotech companies and if, they, if we invite them, they will recruit. It's not that they will not, they will deny, but we have to reach out to them. Okay. And that's something I'm telling you from my experience that whenever we want to recruit people, we will reach out to the campuses, but campuses won't come to us. The reason being they, the placement officers are being lazy. They're just focusing more on the, you know, IT companies, not on the biotech companies. And then the biotech companies are in a dilemma where to go. And many biotech companies will approach me. We want to, you know, uh, get some uh, good candidates and then we'll post their jobs on biotechnic. And that's how you guys get to know. So here is a supply and demand problem. No, here is a laziness problem. The first problem, your placement officer has to be really active in building relationship with these company HRs. And if they have, chances are you will definitely get at least five companies in your campus. Okay. Now coming to the next part. Okay. Agreed that you did not get placements or maybe you didn't get selected. So what's next? Now, many pundits on the internet will say, okay, um, so you finish MSc or BSc, now go and write a competitive exam and that's how you survive in this industry. Well, not really. It is one of the ways, but not the only way. You can get jobs, you can get internships, you can get hands-on, you can get temporary projects, you can volunteer into projects, you can reach out to HRs and offer free services, you can do uh, part-time as well as full-time course while you are doing these things. A lot can be done while you plan to grow in your career. So first things first, you have to have the burning desire to grow in your career. And once you have that, reach out to companies, reach out through LinkedIn, reach out to the HRs and reach out to me, reach out to people who can get you jobs and then try out every possible domain. Now, first identify what is your passion, which domain you love the most. It could be biochemistry, it could be, you know, chem, uh, cell biology or ecology or whatever. And then find out the companies in that sector and reach out to them through LinkedIn or directly through email. If possible, you can even always drop in at the company campus and check out the contact key contact person's email ID. Now, these all things are time taking things. So while all this is happening and in the meantime, start upskilling yourself. Now, what is that? The first thing, look for virtual online certification courses, which will help you. Okay. The next thing which you can do is you can also go for some workshops, either offline or online, attend some conferences. If you can team up with some professors, some laboratory members, and then do publish some research or on, based on, on the basis of your research, try doing that while you're looking for the job, okay? Don't sit idle, okay? Now, follow the CEO approach to your jobs. 
what is that you have to look at what is the skill which is making going to make you future proof what is the skill which will make you which, which will create more scope for you in the future and then invest in a field in which not too much of research has already happened there is scope still to grow for example crispr for example uh, stem cells so these are new fields right work in these fields now that's how you grow in your career but at the same time while you are waiting for the placements to happen you should know that you can create scope for your own self probably you can churn out a biotech company out of your laboratory idea so there are ways to get into a job there are ways to start your own company there are ways to create more magic for your career but one thing which will hurt you the most is thinking that this is it this is the end and you cannot go beyond this it's not the truth i know a lot of people who themselves said that there is no scope are today sitting in germany and sweden and belgium and becoming senior scientists on protein purification how did they do that because they themselves were pandit 10 years ago advise, advising on the internet that there is no scope and today they are senior senior scientists how did they do it because they themselves didn't give up right as simple as that so to all the youngsters out there listening to this particular video i just want to tell you that if your college could not get you placement doesn't mean that you should stop here reach out to them and ask what can be done to increase this to to solve this problem and increase the number of companies who can walk into your campus right at least one company will definitely walk into your campus and that's biotechnica we are always looking out for people right talented people like you now coming to the next if even if okay the placement uh, season has passed and now they will never there'll never be campus placements and you have passed no problem you reach out to companies individually right there are companies and there are individuals and there are entrepreneurs who are always look out for always on a lookout for talent just like you but all you have to do is reach out so that's all for today's video thank you so much i hope it was valuable i know it was not very structured but i tried my best to put my thoughts in front of you put your comments below in the comment section whatever questions you have i will try to answer them as fast as possible otherwise you can reach out to me on my email id thank you so much take care bye bye